Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am just going to discuss about uh, NFA, non-deterministic finite automata. In the previous video, I discussed DFA and in this video, we are just going to discuss NFA alone. So generally, if you take finite automata, it consists of five tuple notations. These are the five tuple notations. The first symbol, the first notation represents a finite set of states and the second notation represents a finite set of alphabet or finite set of input symbols and third notation indicates the initial state and fourth notation F indicates the final state and del indicates the transition function. Now, we are just going to discuss few examples under NFA, non-deterministic finite automata. NFA, non-deterministic finite automata. So, the only differences with uh, between a finite automata and uh, uh, sorry, deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. If you take deterministic finite, uh, finite automata, the condition is each and every state must hold exactly one transition under each and every input symbol. But when it comes to NFA, there is no condition like that. Any number of transitions you can make from one particular state under one particular input symbol. If it is needed, you can make any number of transitions. If it is not needed, you no need to make it. Fine. So, no condition under NFA like that. So, if you want, you can make it. How many times you want to make it, you can make it no issues, right? The same problem which I discussed under DFA in my previous video, we will discuss here under NFA also. Starts with, so you are just going to design an NFA model which accepts a string which starts with only 0, 1. It means the only given clue is your starting symbol must be 0 and 1. Your string must have 0, 1 at the beginning. So, the inputs are going to be zeros and ones alone. With the 0, 1 combination, your input string can be anything. The only condition is your starting must be 0, 1. So, the given clue is 0, 1. So, we are just going to make a model only for 0, 1 first. This is the initial state and this is the final state. You name all the state q0, q1 and q2. The given clue is 0, 1, right? So, it means what? Our starting must be 0, 1. Ending can be anything. The only condition is only with the starting stage. It means what? The first bit must be 0 and your second bit must be second bit must be 1. So, if your input is 0 and 1, yes, your model will work and also it is satisfying the condition because it is start, starting with the 0, 1. Then, if you, oh yeah, and if your uh, input string is 0, 1, 0, in that case, 0, 1, okay. Again, 0 is required. So, you can make a self loop here, 0. So, starting must be 0, 1, ending can be anything with the 0, 1 combination, right? Your, your string can hold anything with the 0, 1 combination. The only condition is starting with the 0, 1. So, your ending can be anything with the 0 and 1 combination. So, you can make a self loop here with the 0 and 1. Then, second example is now it will accept all the string. The model will accept all the input string which holds the starting symbol 0 and 1. Definitely. So, ending can be anything. So, we are making zeros and ones transition self loop here. So, any number of zeros and any number of ones can be read from this state q2 in the final state. Second example is ends with 0, 1. So, we are just going to design a NFA model which accepts the input strings which ends only with 0, 1. Again, the given clue is only 0, 1. So, you can you make a model for only 0, 1 first. This is the initial state and this is the final state q0, q1 and q2. So, the only clue is what? 0 and 1. Fine. So, ending must be 0, 1. It means what? Starting can be anything with the zeros and 1 combination, right? So, simply you can make a self loop here and from the state q0 with the 0 and 1. Fine, that's it. The starting can be anything with the zeros and 1 combination. So, any number of times, so if your input, suppose your input is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1. Ending must be 0, 1. Beginning can be anything. So, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1 it reaches the final state. So, again, if your substring, so you are going to design a DFA model which holds the substring 0, 1 in the string. It means what? There must be 0, 1 somewhere in the string. Again, the given clues 0 and 1 right? This is the initial state and this is the final state q0, q1 and q2, right? 0 and 1. Substring must be 0, 1. It means that 
your beginning and ending can be anything, right? So, you can make one self loop simply here with a 0 and 1. Here also you can make a self loop with a 0 and a 1. That is it. So, substring definitely we have a 0 1. So, whatever the you, uh, input you pass without reading the 0 1, it will not be able to reach the final state if you start from the initial state. So, if your language is 0 and 1, fine it will accept 1 0 1 1. We have 0 1 sequence here, right? So, the input is right. So, it would take 1 from here, 0 1, again the last one will be taken from the state Q2. Then again 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0. In that case 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0. We have a sequence 0 1 here. Here also we have a sequence. So, this model will is eligible to accept all the input string which contains a substring 0 1. Now, um, any other other example is uh, same like ends with the 0 0 means same here you will write 0 and 0 here sorry yeah, ending must be 0 and 0 it means that your beginning can be anything with the combination of zeros and ones. So, you can make 0 and 0 and from the initial state you can make 0 1 loop. So, like, like this is how we will be uh, making a NFA model. So, here there is no constraint how many transitions you want to make you can make it if you do not want to make it no issues you no need to make it. So, that is NFA. Thank you.